Hi, this is Stefan Gonick, International Love Coach from FindingTheLoveYouWant.com. Welcome to Love Talk Q&A, the place to be to get your questions answered about finding and keeping the love of your life. In this video, I'm going to talk about the general question, I'm afraid I'm too X to find love. So what do I mean by X? Well, I get lots of questions in this sort of general form of, I'm afraid I'm too something to find love. So it might be, I'm afraid I'm too fat to find love, or I'm afraid I'm too skinny to find love, or I'm afraid I'm too tall, I'm afraid I'm too short, I'm afraid I'm too poor. So any ones of these kinds of things, you know, they all kind of go into the same general categories, I'm afraid I'm too something to find love. So what's really going on here? Well, first of all, I can easily disprove this idea that you're too something to find love because if you think about it, you probably know somebody in your life who's more X than you are, and they were able to find love. There was somebody who was heavier than you are who was able to find love, or someone taller or shorter than you were able to find love, or poorer, or any of these kinds of things. So it's obvious logically that that's not what's really going on. So then what really is going on? Well, in all these cases, what's going on, you have to look deeper to, to, to understand what it is. And what that is, is that when people have this kind of fear, what it really means is that deep down, subconsciously, the person is really afraid that somehow they're not good enough to find love. They're not worthy of love. They're not lovable even. And then since this is sort of a deep subconscious feeling or belief, then consciously our mind looks for some kind of, you know, thing they can point at. It's like, oh, it must be I'm, I'm too heavy or I'm too tall or I'm too short or something. Okay, but that's really not what it is. So it's really about this sort of deeper feeling of not being good enough, not worthy, not lovable, that kind of thing. So the good news is I'm here to tell you that this is totally not true. The truth is that you have an amazing sparkling essence inside of you. Now you may already be thinking like, well, you don't know me. How can you say that about me? In fact, you're on the other side of a camera, for God's sakes. You can't even see me. Well, the reason why I can say that is in over the span of my life and the hundreds and hundreds of clients that I've worked with and you know, people I've seen in many contexts, I have learned that when you go beneath the surface of anybody, that everybody is amazing, that everybody is fascinating, that everybody is really interesting. Like every person's life deserves a novel. And if that applies to, you know, so many people I've encountered, I am very confident it applies to you as well. So if this really applies to all of us, that we're all these amazing creatures inside, what causes us to feel unworthy and unlovable and things like that? Well, it comes from experiences we have as children growing up, that we get these messages that give us the impression, either indirectly or sometimes very directly, that we're not okay as we are, that we're not good enough, that we're not lovable, things like that. And these are essentially lies. You know, they come from our parents' issues, they come from, you know, their childhood, things like that. And sadly, you know, we absorb these messages and then we get, we develop this feeling deep down that, that we're not good enough, we're not lovable. So, and then that tends to cover over the beautiful essence that we do have and then, you know, we kind of hide it. You know, we tend to hide ourselves. If we don't feel good enough, don't feel really lovable, then we'll tend to, you know, sort of hide ourselves. And then people don't get to see the, the beautiful essence that we are. So what do we do about this? Well, what we need to do is try and heal the underlying cause of this thing. You know, these, these feelings of not being good enough, not being lovable, not being worthy. So, you know, the ideal thing is that you want to use uh, well, my favorite tool is something called EFT or tapping therapy. And you want to use that to start healing some of those original experiences growing up that led us to develop this feeling that we're not good enough, not worthy, not lovable. So once we do that, we heal uh, what happened, that sort of can then uncover the layers covering over our beautiful essence. essence. And then we start feeling like we start feeling comfortable as who we are, and we, we feel comfortable to let ourselves shine through. 
So what I'd like to do is just a little tapping with you. This is not necessarily be enough to take care of the whole thing, but it's, it'll be something that gets you started and then you can take it deeper later. So I'd like you to tap along with me. If you don't know tapping, just imitate what I do. And if you do know tapping, then you know what to do. All right, so start tapping on our cry chop point, the side of her hand, like this, and repeat after me. Even though I'm afraid I'm too X, and for X, you fill in your X. I'm too heavy, I'm too skinny, I'm too tall, too short, whatever it is. So even though I'm afraid I'm too X to find love, and you repeat that after me, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. Even though I'm afraid I am just too X to find love, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself with kindness and compassion. Even though I'm afraid I am, oh, and repeat that. Even though I'm afraid I am just, just two X to find love, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. Okay, now top of the head. I'm afraid I'm too X to find love. I am just too X to find love. Nobody as X as I am will ever be able to find love. I feel doomed in my search for love. I'm afraid it'll never be possible for me. I'm afraid that I'm just too X to find love. But there are other people who are more X than I am who have found love. How come they were able to do it and I can't? What is it they have that I don't have? They're even more X than I am. What if this is not what it's really about? What if it's not true that I'm too X to find love? Is that really possible that I'm not too X to find love? This other person was able to find love and they're more X than I am. So it must be something deeper. It must be because deep down, I'm just not feeling worthy or lovable enough. Maybe that's what's really going on here. In that case, even if I change my ex, I may still feel unworthy to find love. So I need to heal this feeling of being unworthy. Stefan says that I have a beautiful spirit inside. He says the reality is that we all do. So could that really be true about me? I sure don't feel that way when I feel into it. I think it's right that I have this feeling of not being worthy. But it is not my fault. This comes from the unintentional or even intentional lies I heard growing up. These were lies about me not being good enough. But I was born with a beautiful spirit. And it's still there inside of me. Just like it is for all of us. And many people struggle like I do. So I'm not alone in this. The truth is we all have a beautiful sparkling essence inside of us. And that even goes for me too. 
It's hard to believe that it applies to me. But what if it really does? What if it's really true that I have a beautiful sparkling essence? That would be amazing. What would that feel like to really get that? I can feel a little bit of that right now. It'd be so much easier to smile. It'd be so much easier to just be myself. If I could really get that I have a beautiful sparkling essence, my life would be so different. I would be happier. I'd be more confident. I'd smile easier. I could be myself. And I could have more fun. Well, the truth is, I do have a beautiful sparkling essence. And I look forward to letting it out more and more. I actually do have a beautiful sparkling essence. And it feels good to feel into that statement. And to feel the truth of that. I may, may not be able to feel it fully yet, but this is planting a wonderful seed. And that feels good. Maybe it is possible that just like everybody else, I have a beautiful, sparkling, wonderful essence. And I'm going to start taking that in more and more and repeat this tapping. So I'd like to stop here and say, you know, you have a whole childhood of message, negative messages that has led to you feel that, you know, maybe you're not that lovable. Maybe you're not that worthy. And again, I'm here to tell you that these were unintentional lies. Sometimes parents have such big problems that they may have been intentional about it, but there were still lies. You really do have a beautiful, sparkling, wonderful, unique essence that is you. So you can come back and repeat this tapping sequence. You can try doing this for, uh, you know, once a day for a few weeks and start noticing that it's really starting to shift more and more. And ultimately, the biggest healing comes from looking at some of the original formative experiences that resulted in you absorbing these negative messages that you weren't worthy that you weren't lovable, that you weren't good enough to find love to, you know, as, as, a, as a partner for somebody else to be with you, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, I just want to look for some representative memories and use EFT on those. So if you're able to do that on your own, that's a wonderful way to do the healing work that will help you peel off these layers and feel better and better and better about yourself. And then after a while, these other, you know, MI2X, it will go away because it's really not what's going on anyway. As you feel better and better about yourself, you will become much more confident, you'll feel good, and people will pick up on that very well. So, uh, good luck in your, in your journey of healing, and I'll see you on the next one. Did you like this video? If so, click on the like button below, subscribe to this channel, and spread the love to your friends. And if you have questions about your love life, Please submit them in the comments below and your question just might appear in an upcoming episode of Love Talk Q&A. Also, if you would like to understand the three key blocks to finding love and how to attract your soulmate now, sign up for the free Finding the Love You Want mini course. Well, thank you for hanging out with me. And remember, no matter how long you've been trying, you really can have the life and love you long for. This is Stefan Gonick, international love coach from FindingTheLoveYouWant.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Love Talk Q&A.